Welcome again to another 3D Doodle. Today I'm going to build the car rig, which I showed in the other video. I'm going to do it really quickly, but at least you can see uh, all the steps, not all the steps, but most of the steps required. So I'm first going to make is like a little line over which the car will move. Just set all the vertices to like smooth, so we have a nice line. Make it a little more smooth, car will move like this. So then we create a dummy. Just whatever size, doesn't really matter. We give that a path constraint, we give it a name, like the main. So we do animation constraint, path constraint. You can always you get two keyframes, like one at the start, one at the end. You can remove them or keep them. You can always move it by hand. So as you can see now, it goes along the path, but it doesn't, doesn't rotate along with it. So we change that by follow. You can also have a bank, but right now we just keep it to follow. We'll create another dummy, the one at the front. We'll do the same thing. Uh, off constraint. Yep, and we'll move it a little bit and we'll set it to. We'll do the wire parameters, the transform. Oh. Transform wire parameters. Do the path constraint percent. We link it to the other dummy, and we link it to the position path constraint percentage. So we get a pop up. That's so it. We say percent is percent plus ten percent, for instance. We link it from uh, the main dummy, that's this one, to our front dummy. So we link it this way. We connect. So it's ten percent. Let's do a little less. Let's say in zero point five. Update a little more. Seven. So now move this out of the way. If you move this, the other one goes along with it. A little in front. So there we have it. So then we have this. This is a W steer. We'll get a run. There's no time. We only have ten minutes. Quick, 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 quick. So create some more dummies. So we have uh, one for the left front wheel and one for the right front wheel. Copy those two again. So we link this to this one. Um, and we have this one and this one. We link those to the car. And we have this one looking at animation constraint. Look at this one. We have this one looking at animation constraint. Look at this one. So let's see if this works. We move it around. As you can see, they steer. But the linking is not perfect, I think. Well, sort of works. The turns are a little bit small, a little bit short right now. It's a little bit tight. So my basically it's steering too sharp. Anyways. So then we have the circle for the slide in the rear. We draw it. You should basically have it going through your rear wheels, but I don't have a model at the moment to test it with. So I convert it to an editable spline, refine it so that we can move. Where are you? Refine, refine. Delete the rest. And then link this to our main dummy. Let's see if this works. Uh, well, let's have another dummy first. Dummy. That's my slide. Thumb slide. Animation constraints. Path constraint. Link it to the path. You can see it's animated again from 0 to 100, but I don't want it. I want it in the middle, so I set the along path at 50. Then we have another dummy here, which we link to our main dummy, which we have look at our sliding dummy. So let's see. Yes. And if we move it. Yes. 
So I think we're almost there. We can make this one bank a little bit. Position. Bank. One degree. Whatever it is. So in fact, I think I did some wrong linking. So these shouldn't be linked to the main dummy. So we disconnect them, but we link them back to the one I just created. Because that's the one that actually follows the sliding one. So then, yes. So we have to try to move this one up a little bit. So that's the steering percentage. Main. So move it up a little bit. Get same point. Oh. Point one. It's a little further away. Keep this, this one open for now. So let's see what happens if I animate this along the path. So we put it at a hundred at the end. Oh, that looks all wrong. But we'll see. Move this to zero. Well, as you can see, it does the steering. They actually have to hide these to make it more clear. So this is not important, this is not important, and this is not important. What you would have is another... Uh, it's more dummies, so we create two for the rear wheels just to visualize them. So this one, this one, which you would link to your sliding one. And then uh, separately by hand, for instance, uh, make them rotate like this, or make a little script, or a wire parameter. You can do all kinds of things. So we move it again. This looks good. You can see it steers ahead, and the rear follows. You can make the rear break out. So basically, it's a lot of look at controllers and having the right hierarchy. But right now, I have like a horrible naming scheme. So it's a bit hard to follow. Let me see if I move it back. So this is the... Yeah, so this is really useless. I mean, it's hard to understand, but every step that I make is, is basically a simple step. There's a lot of look at controllers, or the only complicated thing here is the, the wire parameter, which is something new or you might already knew it. So that's an uh, explanation of uh, the car, the simple car rig. It's not perfect, again, like I said in the other video, but uh, it's a start and, and I'm going to work on it. It's also a work in progress for me, so I'm uh, going to improve it and when I have, I'll uh, show you some more. Thanks for now. I'll see you again.